So we have a um, Stag Model 4 lower, a Magpul PRS stock on the rear, Magpul MOE grip, that is a, a LaRue MBT trigger. Uh, the upper is the AAC, uh, just the uh, factory AAC, 300 blackout upper, 16 inch. Those have a uh, Knight's Armament rail. Actually a really lightweight rail. I would like that on my uh, eventual 5.56 build. We've got a uh, LaRue PSR20 MOA mount, and sitting in that mount is, of course, the uh, Burris XTR2. This is a uh, 3 to 15 power. And on the end, AAC Titan Ti. It's a, a 300, I'm sorry, a 338 Lapua suppressor, but it works fantastic on this uh, little rifle here. Forgot to mention the Atlas bipod. That is also on a LaRue. QD mount. I love LaRue as you can tell. <laughs> the ammo I was shooting today, the subsonic, was this uh, SIG Elite Performance ammo. 220 grain, 300 black. Um, my favorite was the Silencer Co. 220 grain, but I cannot find that stuff to save my life. It's disappeared from their website. I have no idea what happened and I can't figure it out. But uh, this uh, SIG stuff seems alright. Um, Seems a little less powerful than the Silencer Co. But anyway, we're uh, out here at Butterfield. We're shooting at 215 yards, 320 yards, and 420 yards. Okay, we have uh, <coughs> switched to subsonic. This is um, SIG 220 grain, and we've come up to 7.6 mil from uh, from that supersonic, and uh, still at 200 yards, 215 yards, whatever. One more time here. Five more rounds. We are possibly getting to the point where it's just kind of the limit of the ammunition too. That is not right.
Check the pig. I hit exactly where I was aiming. That's good. And we're 26 mil high on the second shot. Good enough. What do you think about that 400 yard target? <laughs> That third round might have clipped the top of the plate. I won't know until I get home and watch the video.